Hello, welcome to another video. Now today I want to talk about keeping cool in the sim rig, which has been a challenge over the last few weeks. I wanted to talk to you guys that drive in warm situations, warm climates, about a cheap, budget-friendly option I found. I've been using it for about a year, probably a little bit more. So I want to show you now. Now it's this falling car seat cushion. It's USB powered it's got three settings and if you look very carefully you can see five circles through there and i'll show you what those are in a minute now it's got a very breathable 3d honeycomb type mesh doesn't feel like it crushes very easily but it's still soft to the touch it's formable so i think it will probably fit in even the very narrowest of bucket seats i will put measurements on to show you the compressed sides and for a larger backside a bit like mine and on the back is a rubber dotted non-slip surface all the stitching looks pretty good to be honest for how cheap this is i've been really impressed with the one i'm on but this actually looks like a better quality now like i say on the back there's a zip that gives you access to removing the innards so you can maybe wash the outer Again, there's about a six foot long USB lead with a three fan speed switch there. And if I take the main component out of the actual cover, you will get to see how this thing works. Now, when I first saw this, I thought that doesn't look comfortable at all. However, it is actually you don't notice it it gives a little bit more firmness to the seat that you're on if anything there's the five fans there that draw the air in through there and then push it through the framework of the base there's actually three more holes there so i'm guessing you could maybe upgrade if you wanted a bit more air and maybe float off your seat this does produce a certain amount of noise but however when you sit on it it seems to deaden the noise down with my original one that I bought a year ago, what I did was I cut a piece of card that covered the entirety and I taped all the way around because I felt that the air could have escaped the wrong way. It cools just the right amount. It sounds a strange thing to say, but even when it's been 35, 36 degrees in the studio, it's a case of it evaporates the sweat, which is what cools you down it's not the airflow it's the the evaporation and you don't want to be too cold otherwise the big muscle groups in your backside will potentially cramp up especially if you're doing a long endurance race so i found this provides just enough cooling so i'll put it back into the cover the fans by the way are look like laptop cooling fans and each one is rated at 5 volts and 0.25 amps and it works out to about six and a quarter watts of energy so that's next to nothing the two zips enable you to have a center exiting fan or you can move them across to one side or the other so you can have left or right exit to reach to wherever you're going to plug this in i think this as a product that i've been using for a year is really good value and we're looking at 15 to 25 british pounds depending what's available i will provide a link down below i'm not sure whether it's going to be an affiliate link yet or not if it is i get a tiny little amount of commission it doesn't cost you any more i would really appreciate the support of the channel if you use that link do i recommend this i wouldn't be showing you otherwise this is a cheap cheerful no frills video to show you the product and I've been more than happy with it for over a year now so this one will be used like I say either in the car or in the house if you've made it this far through the video please consider subscribing hit the like let me know in the comments if it's been helpful and if you've tried it so there you go there's the cooling car seat cushion for 15 to 25 British pounds